Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The program for today is like a program for Brilliant Bingo. Let me explain what is Brilliant Bingo. Given a number in each round of the game, the players have to multiply the number with the round number. Round number means uh, it starts from one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We have to multiply the given num in each round. Okay. The game stops when a player gets all the numbers from 0 to 9 and it's a brilliant game bingo. Okay. Uh, our output should contain which all the numbers from 0 to 9. Okay. For example, consider this uh, 7892. Okay. This is a given, given input which contains 7892. Uh, for for round number, we multiply it. Uh, we multiply it into one. We get uh, seven, eight, nine, two. Now we get uh, four number. After that, we have to multiply next round number seven, eight, nine, two, start two. Okay. We multiply the resultant will uh, seven. 8, 9, 2, it's multiplied by 2, which is 1, 5, 7, 8, 4. Okay. Now, it contains uh, Okay. Let's store the result in uh, here. Okay. Now, what are the numbers are there from 0 to 9? 1 is there. Uh, then, uh, 2 is also there, then uh, 3 is not there, so leave it, 4 is there, then 5 is there, then uh, 6 is not there, 7 is there, then 8 is also there, then 9 is there. So the now after second round, the resultant will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. We have to get all the number from 0 to 9. So we have to multiply till that. After the third round, okay? Third round, same 7, 8, 9, 2, multiply by 3. So 7, 8, 9, 2 is multiplied by 3. The output will be 2, 3, 6, 7, 6. Okay? Here, uh, 2 is already there, 3 is not there, right? So 3 will come here, okay? 3 will be stored in our resultant set. Then uh, 4 is already there, 5 is already there, 6 is not there, 6 is here. So 6 will be placed in our result set, okay? Then uh, 7 is already there, 8 is there, 9 is there. So the missing number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0 is only missing. So we have to multiply until the zero will come in the resultant array. Now they round four, seven, eight, nine, two, multiply by four. Okay. Which is 31. Okay. 31, five, six, eight. So one is already there. Uh, three is already there. 5 is already there, 6 is already there, 8 is also there. 0 is only missing. So we go to next round. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 2 into 5. Okay. So 7, 8, 9, 2 into 5, which is 3, 9, 4, 6, 0. Okay. Now 3 is already there in our resultant set. 9 is also there, 4 is also there, 6 is also there, 0 is not there. So 0 will be added in a sentence. Now, our uh, game starts when a player get all the numbers from 0 to 9. Here we get all the numbers from 0 to 9. So the game will be stopped. Our output will be uh, up to which round it will take up. It will take uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to five round, it will take to get all the numbers from zero to nine. So our output will be five. Okay. Hope you understand the problem. 
Shall we begin with that? Okay, as usual, we get the input from the user here. The same input, which is uh, 7892, okay? 7892. Then I pass the method bingo uh, to 7892. Into the method will come here. The number is 7892. Okay. After that, I declare a key set. The benefit of key set is uh, which is uh, store the elements in ascending order. Then it will not allow duplicate elements. Okay. Uh, so uh, in case there is a duplicate element of tree, uh, tree and tree, it will store tree only one step. So I use tree set here. Okay. For that reset, integer t is equal to new tree set. It is the name of a tree set. Okay. Then I initialize i is equal to 1, r is equal to 0. I begin with the while loop. If t is dot size not equal to 10, it will run. Okay. If the t is of t is size because 0 to 9 contains 10 elements. If the t uh, if the Tree set contain 10 elements, it will stop. It will come outside the while loop. So I mentioned the condition, it will run up to ps that says not equal to 10. Okay, it will run. Now, for uh, I mentioned earlier, loop is equal to, I declare the variable loop for each round. Okay, so for i is equal to 1. Here is i is equal to 1, right? For i is equal to 1, uh, Loop is equal to that 7892 star 1, okay, which is the same 7892. Okay, then I initialize t is equal to 0. Uh, this while loop is the duplicate value is 7892, right? We have to get the separate numbers. So we use t is equal to t is equal to 7892. 9, 2, which is modulo 10, which will return the reminder. The reminder is 2, right? So, 2. So, 2 will be added in that result and preset. Okay. 2 will be get added. Then, loop is equal to loop by 10, which will return 7, 8, 9, 2 by 10, which will return the quotient, which is 7, 8, 9. Okay, 7, 8, 9. After that, it checks 7, 8, 9 greater than 0. 7, 8, 9 greater than 0. Yeah, the condition true. So, 7, 8 percentage 10 is 9. So, 9 will get added. Then, uh, 7, 8, 9 by 10. So, 78 will come. 78 greater than 10. So 78 percentage 10, which will return 8. So 8 will get added. As you should preset is the stored the result elements in ascending order, right? So 8 will get added. After that, uh, 78 by 10, which results in 7. Okay, 7 greater than. Sorry, here 0, right? Uh, 0 greater than 10. So, 7 modulo 10, which returns 7. So, 7 will get added here. Okay. Now, 7, uh, 7 by 10, which is equal to 0. So, now 0 greater than 0, the condition fails. Okay. Uh, this, will, this while loop will occur for each step, okay? In order to separate the number and store it in reset, okay? Then I increment R value to 1. Now, the round is 1. Then I will get incremented to 2, okay? Uh, I, I already 1. Now, it will get incremented to 2 because uh, the, it, I is uh, increment each round, okay? 1, 2, 3. So, I increment I. R is our round count uh, to display the output. Okay. After that, it will check that the ts dot size is not equal to 10. Yes, the condition true because the ts size is now 4. 4 is not equal to 10, right? 4 is not equal to 10. Okay. So now, inm star uh, 
i is equal to 2 i is equal to 2 so loop is equal to i num star 2 so i num star 2 is what 15784 okay 15784 so 15784 so as usual the while condition i explained in the previous slide 18784 so it will run up to this and store the element first one will get added then uh, uh, as a result okay in starting order one four uh, then uh, If we divide by 10, first 4 will come. Uh, 4 will store here. Okay. Then divide by 10, 8 will come. 8 is already there, so no issue. Then 7. Uh, 7 will come. 7 is also already there. Then it will come to 5. Uh, 5 will store in here. Then uh, 1 will come. 1 will store here. Okay. Likewise, the element will get Likewise, the element will get added. Then uh, it will come here. The round count is now increment to 2 and I count is increment to 3. Then uh, check the size uh, that uh, now the size of tree set is uh, 7. Okay. 7 is not equal to 10. 7 is not equal to 10. So now the I value get incremented to 3. Then it will multiply to 3. Uh, so the output will be so multiply by 3 the output will be 2, 3, 6, 7, 6 okay so 2, 3, 6, 7, 6 it will come here this will this looks separate 2, 3, 6, 7, 6 as usual it separate each element first 6 will come since it's not there in the tree set, so it will store here. Then seven, seven is already there. Since it's also not already there, three is already three is not there, so three will get added here. Then two will come. Two is already in the tree set, so no problem. It will come outside the loop. Then round will get incremented to three. Then I will get incremented to four. Uh, now, now the tree set size is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the tree set size is nine. Okay, 9 is not equal to 10. So, I will get incremented. Uh, now, I will get incremented to 4, right? Uh, so, 4. Uh, it will multiply by 4. So, the resultant output will be, uh, when we multiply the given number into 4, the resultant output will be 31568. So, it will come here. So 3 is already there, 1 is also there, 5 is also there, 6 is also there, 8 is also there. So it will nothing do because all the elements are already stored in that uh, tree set. So it will come here, round will get incremented to 4 and then I will get incremented to 5. Then uh, I check the tree set, it remains the same, 9 is not equal to 10, then I will get incremented to 5. Now uh, the given number is multiplied by 5, it will return. Uh, it will return this number. So here, uh, it check that, uh, it check the first zero will come, uh, zero is not there in the tree set, so it will add a zero here. Then uh, six is already there, four is already there, nine is already there, three is also already there. So it will come outside the loop and increment the count round to five, then, uh, I will get implemented to 6. Okay. Now, it check the size of the tree set. Now, the size of the tree set is 10. 10 is equal to equal to 10. But here, the condition is not equal to 10. So, the condition false. It will come outside the loop and will it print the round, which is 5. Okay. Shall we run the program?
I give the same input 7892, which will return 5. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I leave the program solution in the description. Kindly check it. Thank you.